Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who don't know, I'm Pudgy. And I'm Spartan. Good to see you again. And we're back with season two of The Witcher and we're on episode three. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Episode three is called What is Lost? And I'm assuming that's kind of aimed at Siri and Geralt's relationship. Maybe. Or it could have been aimed at Yennefer because she sort of lost her ability to control her powers last episode. True. I think it works on lots of different levels. Yeah. Because we saw last episode... I wasn't quite sure that old witch lady that sort of appeared to Yennefer and the other sorceresses in a, some sort of nightmare, she reminded me of one of the crones or crows, I can't remember which one it is, um, in the Witcher 3 game, but that's about all I know. So I don't know if that was her or not. Yeah, it seemed like at the end there that Yennefer was unable to use her power. I think some sort of trauma or fear mm. that, you know, that was reactivated inside her was suppressing her ability to basically have control in order to use her magic. So that was... Something different, an interesting sort of plot point to introduce. Yeah, poor Yennefer. One thing I found strange, went to Kayamoran, got to meet new witches. The episode was fantastic. Check out episode two if you haven't seen it, because you'll see our thoughts there. But one thing that I found interesting, and I looked it up later, and you know the internet seems to have a similar reaction, is that Eskel being killed off. Now, I played The Witcher 3. I don't know much else about The Witcher world, but in The Witcher 3, Eskel, which is set much later in the future, Eskel's there. And then... In this, we've only just been introduced to him and he's killed off. And from what I'm understanding was that People this was going to be... happy about it. Well, that too, but that this series was going to be faithful to the books. And from my knowledge, Eskel is in the books a lot more. So have they changed that direction? Are they... Was that just a one-off? I don't know. Sort of, that was a bit different. Having him... I, I would have liked to see more from him. Um, him and Gil had a nice sort of brotherly bond. So that was something a little bit weird. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what direction they kind of take season two in because we did get some heavy hitters. We did meet a lot of the witches and we kind of got to see that family bond. I do hope that we get to see a bit about Geralt's mother and a bit more of his backstory as well. We got a little bit in season one. I, I reckon it's likely this thing back at Geralt's home now in Kaimora and it seems like they would mm. slowly tease that. But with regards to his mother, uh, yeah, I don't know if we get more about on but her. But honestly, that, be could be, that could be something that's like, Explored in season five. They probably will drag it out. Yeah. What I'm getting the vibe of is that season one was very much about finding Siri, mm. and it feels like season two is very much about finding Yennefer in, in one sense. So I feel like it's going to drag that out. Yennefer's sort of running away now, trying to survive. And then, boom, uh, maybe at last episode, they finally get rid of Yennefer. Mm. Maybe not, but we'll find out. Right. You ready for the episode? I'm so ready. I'm pumped. I'm looking forward to getting into more season two. We are hyped. So let's get into it. Searing Geralt training. Oh, I guess another thing we saw at the end of the episode, finally he's going to train Siri. <laughs> Alright, she's improved. Uh, somewhat. He's so serious, I love it. <laughs> he's got that epic look about him. Hmm, always. That's enough. We'll start fresh tomorrow. I can do it. <laughs> You need rest. Some more visions. Was it the Black Knight again? Probably the Wild Hunt. If he's still haunting you. Whose turn is it for lunch? How mad would it be to have Geralt as your, as your like, protect the Guardian? I would love it. <laughs> You'd love it. <laughs> well, you pretty much already got Geralt, so mm. it's fine. Same, same. What's the difference between a Witcher and a heap of shit? Eventually, the ship will stop smelling. <laughs> that joke's hold is the conjunction. Well, you told me one then, you comedic fuck. <laughs> I love how they bag themselves. What would you call a witcher with no brains? Lambert. <laughs> oh, is he Lambert? No way is he Lambert. I think Lambert had darker hair in the games. Cost us a brother. That wasn't our brother. Not by the end of it. Oh, he's hating him because he had to kill him. Yeah. Damn, man. Poor Aww. girl. Even in his own home. He gets out un misunderstood. I don't get why he died so soon, though. It doesn't make sense. So you're just like him. We're all just like him. He mm. won't get any rest. None of us will have any peace until there are no monsters left in the world. Until our life's mission is complete. <laughs> Which will be never. Because what else will we do? Exactly. So it looks like we're going to get to see Eskel in these visions. Yeah, but I don't get, like, after one episode killing him off, then to learn more about him, the visions seems premature. I like seeing that, though, at least, but... It's nice seeing Geralt be around brothers and family-like. 
Mm. So far, we've gotten him very much the lone warrior kind of thing. Ew. I'm secretly hoping they can revive Eskil somehow, but I've never heard of that being done. Looks like he's getting butchered. We shouldn't have lost him this way. I know. If there was a scientific explanation for any of this, you would have found it by now. I'm not going to give up now. I'm not asking you to give up, but it's time to let Eskil rest. A hard situation to be in, especially because the whole world's outcast them. They've only really got each other, so losing one would be a big deal. Very big deal. Is that a uh, miss? Yes. Oh, not bad view. Very nice. She's writing in of his name. Is that like the dead that she's writing, or? Oh my god, don't. She she thinks still thinks she's dead. <laughs> Already. <laughs> we know she's alive. I know. <laughs> oh my god. His eyebrows are so long. We'll be burying a lot more than 14 mages then. 13. Oh, bang! Yeah! Good <laughs> entrance! Oh, I managed to say it's relief. Oh my god. Oh, what an entry! Yeah! I did not expect Finally. that. Oh, I thought it would have been dragged out for a while. That was nice, yeah. But to say, I imagine that, you think they're dead and just boom. Like, what the fuck? Arturius can feel his grasp on the leadership slipping and Strigobor is... A fuckhead. <laughs> Perfy. Perfy. You want me to lay low? I need you to. Because you and Vilgefortz are making a play for their seats. We know it's dangerous, but this is not the time to be weak. The time to be strong. I mean, fair enough. Like, the other two are corrupted. Yeah. And Yennefer's not going to get the seat right now. It's cool saying that equals. Imagine the, the embrace you get after being away for so long. And who knows what she's been through. She's probably sick of all the politics as well. Yeah. I mean, sure he was before all of this. Yeah. With Nilfgaard, who will protect us. Yes, there's a cost, but if it saves our people, it's one I'm happy to pay. Mm, but what is the cost? Be happy. We're safe here. I hope so. Why does that seem like a naive woman situation? Yeah, it does seem a little bit. Like she's naive to the greater things at play. What did you do then? <laughs> Oh, no. Some things are far too scary for little girls. I'm not little and I'm not afraid. I want to do what a witcher does. <laughs> she actually looks a lot like Siri now, more, even more. Yeah. They've darkened up her eyebrows. Yeah. Come on, then. Oh, oh let's go. I like this. I like exploring the whole But he's pushing, he's pushing her buttons and he knows that Geralt wouldn't want him to. Yeah, but I reckon I'll be good. she'll become friends with them afterwards. These seem to be the two witches. In the game, it was Eskel and Lambert. It seems now to be Lambert and some other guy. I don't know what the other guy's name is. Oh my god, damn. That's sharp, too. Go on. It's quite dumb. Like, I could kill her. If she gets a scratch, girl's gonna destroy them, man. <laughs> Come on, Siri. Oh, we're actually just to balance too. Yeah, you gotta balance and get through it. Damn. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I was not expecting that straight away. Wow. Still wanna be a witcher. Well, maybe that's the message. He's trying to. T he's he's probably spiteful because he's like, you have the choice. Why are you choosing this life? Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, now you can rest. Surely he gets revived, man. It's the only reason I think that would make sense. See, no one else is there to lay him to rest. It's Geralt. Geralt seems to be like the father of the brothers, in a sense. Maybe mm. he's the oldest, I don't know. Like after Vesemir, he seems to be the next respected. And I sort of allude to that even with his discussion to, with Eskel. Mm. But I need to know what happened. If it were your child, you would be going crazy to figure it out. Damn. So that's all his children. It's cool seeing his vulnerabilities. And how much he cares. Do they feed them to the wolves or like tradition or something? It's the first time we've seen Yennefer kind of strip back. And yeah, wake up. she looks good there. She looks more like the Yennefer that I know as well. Long black hair and stuff. He survived. So did you. Tris looks different. Surely the saviour of Sodom would know how to heat a pool. 
think she has a fear of losing control or something. Potentially. And that's why. So do you. Oh, they made her hair more red now. Like the game. Oh. At least they nodded to it. Because that was one of the biggest complaints people had, that her hair wasn't red enough. And it looks like they made her a bit redder after the injury with the fire or something. Ah. Fair enough. At least they listened to their fans. I'll go for a swim. <laughs> that water does look nice though, like a nice spa. Yeah. Come on, Tris. Join us. Not today. Mm. Probably still injured. It looked more like a fear. And that album by that. This guy's so dramatic. Reclaim power. That's not true. <laughs> Head to burst your bubble, buddy. <laughs> Falco was quarter elven, just as Yennefer is. So what are you saying? Yennefer's related to Falco? Of course not. <laughs> A historian should know bloodlines better. He's very manipulative. The only certainty on this continent, my boy, is that no one is ever what they see. That includes you, brother. Did you think about that? Yeah. Look, I mean, at least he... Um, he's sticking up for Yennefer because the last we saw of their interaction was him denying Yennefer. Um, well, denying a relationship with her. Yeah, but yeah. But he still didn't seem to mind the friendship, which is good. Yeah. I think they suit as friends anyway. They do. Yennefer's for my man, Geralt. After I'd been burnt by that soldier, I was on the ground screaming and he walked by me. I'm so sorry. We'll find a cure for your scars. What's lost is lost. I have to find a new way forward. Mm. Make her rethink her trying to get back what she's lost all the time. Her child. Yeah. All right, Siri, show us what you learned. Come on, Siri. Ah. Sorry, I realise she doesn't give up easily. Surely you get a concussion from falling that many times. She did it! Fair enough, well done. Impressed a couple of witches. Oh no. I had a feeling um, that was gonna happen. Yeah, same. Although I thought maybe Geralt would come in and save her, but... Oh, Geralt's gonna be pissed. Admit it. You belong in a castle. Not our keep. He's so mean. Prove him wrong, Siri. Sorry, right, she'll gain their respect. What will it cost me? Hmm. Well, she didn't ask about first. You suffered great losses in Sodden. You need a new army. Oh, well, she's pregnant. That'll be the first full-blooded elf in uh, generations. See, I don't hate Fingilla because I feel like I understand more about her now, but like she's also pretty brutal with her dark magic. Yeah. Like, she sacrificed people's lives to take up a spell. Like, that's still pretty fucked up, so... I'm sort of half-half, but I liked seeing her and Yennefer last episode together. Hopefully we get to see more about, like, what happened during that time. Politics. Requires a certain type of person. Calculating. I understand. Of course you do. She's matured a fair bit. He's giving me, like, a weird feeling now. I don't mind him. Uh... We need a little more about him. No, that was a very weird interaction. Especially from, like, killing that guy in season one. Yeah, like maybe something's wrong. Maybe he's like somehow tampered with. But we don't. I could. I never knew if that guy was a. Well, that guy knew his name. He he called out his name. <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah, it's the knight, the general, whatever it was. Yeah. He envied you. <laughs> then. Hmm. Uh, he'll, she he'll... envied you then. then. Like back then, not yeah, now. Yeah, not now. <laughs> so sorry. Ugh, don't touch her. What did he do? Of course you blood. I prefer a hero of Sodden. Heroes don't go mysteriously missing for a month after battle. You know, it's telling that you don't understand such complex concepts as prisoners of war. Is she like a prisoner in his mind or something? Her Probably, mind. yeah. He's so annoying. I reckon Yen's gonna wreck him. Come on, Yennefer, fight back. 
To say her? I love to say her, man. She's so. I actually love to say her. <laughs> you will answer to this. To say her is a badass. Like I actually rate her. She's, one, she's my favorite sorceress at the moment. Especially now, she's very like. She was always stern, but now she's had enough. She's like been to hell and back. Yeah. Especially in this war, he wasn't even there. Um, and she's not putting up with no one. It's like Yennefer's helped bring about some of her probably long buried feelings mm. of being sick of the system and the sick of the way I do things and wanting to yeah. sort of revolt at. They're going to make a good team for sure. I'm sorry for Askel. I know, son. And if I was ever a burden. <laughs> it was. Oh, he is. Shit. Hey, damn it. You're panting like a dying mammoth. <laughs> Oh, they want to see it. Oh, she did Go it. Go Siri. Well, that's one way to win a witch's respect. Get up. It's a hard position to get up from as well. On her and her arms probably like killing her. What a beast. He's fuming. <laughs> I thought she was going to miss, to be honest. She's become a little beast. Yeah. Ah, oh, that would hurt. Oh, right at the end. Well, she's completed it. Well, if you want to be technical. It's so close. <laughs> <laughs> you have committed treason against one of our own. Yeah, to say, uh, how are you going to get your way out of this now? Survived imprisonment by Nilfgaard. Survived capture by elves and now returns to these hallowed halls unscathed? And we're to unquestioningly believe that she's here with good intentions. Ah. Uh. And she is the enemy. I don't know. Then you must also be willing to defend it from threats inside these walls. Oh no. To prove your innocence, you will have to kill the Nilf Guardian prisoner. It's, which will prove what? That you are not a spy. Or that I am a killer. But you are not a threat because you have lost your magic. Damn, that could also pin her as a um target. They do these scenes really well. Mm. It gets me emotional every time. Oh, I thought it was just me. <laughs> now you can feel it. The struggle she's having. Tell me how to save myself. I cannot. I don't believe you! <laughs> what is lost is lost. She feels like she gave up her child or magic, and then she lost magic too, she had nothing left, you know? Without you, I'm nothing. No. I'm stumbling through darkness. From the moment we met, you have been trying to fill a void. Power couldn't do it, even when you had it at your fingertips. What makes you think it's the answer now? Because it's all I have left! Damn. Interesting arc. You can do anything. <laughs> I like how he's like a dad now. Doesn't mean you have to. True. When a witcher cracks his skull, all we need to do is stick him in a cot and fill him with Veritum, Spurge, and Hawthorne. Chances are, he'll survive. You do not have that luxury. You said we catch fear, that you have to face it and mustn't just give up. Do you have to train first? Teach her the lesson, Geralt. I have known many who wanted to be great fighters in my time. Do you know where they are now? In cemeteries. He's always got such great advice. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was quite, like, a typical, like, dad thing, but... But it was true. Yeah. Like, he's seen people prematurely try and rush for glory or revenge without yeah. being properly ready. And when it comes to the wrong place, obviously, you know, they, they ended up fine. He's saying the risks are higher too. Don't go into it thinking that it's just all glory. Yeah. Run on foot to be the end. I mean, he would know. 
Oh wow. Oh. It's the weed going. Oh no, that's scarf. her. That's my mother's scarf. But she was hiding it from him, I don't remember why. Either that, or the tree was trying to grab it secretly. Maybe the tree's alive in the walls. Strike a spy station on the towers outside. If you slip out in the night, you will be caught. But you will never want to go quietly, will you? It's cool, like they're seeing all the different major stuff have grown from mm. vulnerable. Now they're all powerful in their own right. Maybe she'll have to seek her out to get her power back. Who knows? I wonder if she actually is one of the crones or not. Otherwise, she's a creepy old lady. I mean, you guys let us know. You guys might know. Maybe we're not meant to know yet. Your enemies aren't on the ground. <laughs> That's cool. Everyone's sort of training her. Mm. That strange feeling that you get like someone's coming after you. Can you describe it to me? It's like I'm being pulled. Pulled towards what? Here we go. Oh. But she got she got a pull before too to the other tree. They they yeah they're gonna find the tree here. This is a different tree, not the one that spoke to her. This is the one that took Eskel. Yeah. Slow brain, slow brain. That's what I'm saying though. I know what I'm saying is she got pulled last time to a different tree. She's constantly getting pulled to places. It seems like certain magical spots in the earth. Um, she's carrying some power that. I don't know, the earth knees or whatever, for whatever reason, it keeps drawing her into the places. What other trees did she get to last time? The tribe of all those warriors, remember? Where her elf friend got arrowed? And then she was just walking in, she was mesmerised? Ah, uh, but that was like the forest, not a tree. But I'm saying she was mesmerised and pulled. I don't care about the trees. What I'm saying is that she's constantly yeah, got this feeling of being the... pulled to somewhere. Yeah. So it's like these certain magical spots on the earth pulling her. I'm saying, I wonder mm. why. What's drawing her into all these areas? Like what? What does that mean with regards to her power, you know? Yeah. His armor looks so cool. Why does it want me? I saw your mother exhibit uncontrolled magical power. I think you've inherited that power or something like it. Very special on Geralt. Mm. Looks like Groot. Yeah. <laughs> I am Groot. Much scarier than Groot. <laughs> Yeah, that scene with the trailer. Oh, that's what was in her yeah. vision. Yeah. What, what is that hell? now? Uh. Run. The hell? It just destroyed destroyed the tree like that. Oh. oh. I love these monster fights, man. Maybe we'll get to see Siri finally use her power here. I don't know. I feel like it's premature. I feel like we're going to need something, like, much more threatening to see it. Open your eyes. Yeah, I'd love to close my eyes right now. Probably calming yourself down. I wonder what it is, though. Weird. It's like a massive centipede. But, like, the tree thing was meant to be super deadly and dangerous, and this thing just ripped it in half. So how would they not have been aware of that in the forest? Like, I don't know. And here it comes. I've got a feeling it's not trying to hurt it. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. Come back. Oh, beheaded. Ugh. Damn. I had a slight feeling maybe it was going to be Eskel and it was going to hurt her. Some oh, transformation, nah. but nah, that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, nah, save it. <laughs> Less than perfect means death. Yeah, she knows what that means. I want to find out what it is, because it... Pull that tree up like it was nothing, man. Geralt's so good, though. He literally knows when to nurture and he knows when to be, like, firm. I know. How he's managed to maintain a balance of both is crazy. Oh, no. They're going to make you and kill him. I don't reckon she will. It's too early for him to die. Mm. It is in blindness that we find our true strength. Mm, true. It's foreshadowing for Yen. Mm. Why does Strager Ball need to create all these extremes? Can't wait to Strager Ball get some walls. I don't get why they're killing you in front of the king. There's a show of there. I think she'll put on a fiery display for us tonight, Fortes. Our most trusted advisors are becoming less and less trustworthy. Mm. So they're kind of starting to think that they're not trustworthy advisors anymore either, Siri. 
I kind of feel sorry for him too, though. Same. It's weird, but in his own way, he still believes he's got his own cause. Yeah. I mean, they were pretty brutal, to be fair, to Sintra. Yeah. They, his army mauled people. I don't think she's going to go through with it. But it's so hard to put that on someone's shoulders, especially back then, like a woman's shoulders, to kill someone, behead someone. I guess the, the attitude is, I live in a tough world. You've yeah. got to be tougher. It will explain how this guy meets his end. I felt like he needed a bigger finish. Oh, that's the worst thing he could have done. Look her in the eyes. Yeah, I think he's got teary eyes. Uh, to be fair, he's taken it. He's taken it honorably. Fuck. He's got no yeah. other choice. <laughs> Thought so. Damn. In true Yennefer style. <laughs> to say it's like, oh no. <laughs> I reckon Strigger will be up her ass though. Oh no. Surely this won't bite her in the ass. It won't. Come on then. Why save me? Don't flatter yourself. I'm saving me. It's weird because Yennefer's like made a f some sort of bond now with him, with Frangilla. So like, even though they're the enemy, through Yennefer you sort of kind of like them. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that, I mean, I... Definitely didn't think she was going to kill him, but I thought she would have, that she went out in style, like, yeah. fire up, let's go, boom, so. It's funny, because the king was, like, joking that she'll give us, like, a good fire show. Yes, she did. She delivered. She delivered. Another solid episode, to be honest. I'm liking the pacing of season two. It's definitely a bit slower than season one, but mm. it's a lot more now about really getting in touch with the lives of, of everyone and the everyday livings and then learning a bit more about their past and... And their relationships and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I always go to costume and things like that. But it's interesting to see the little differences they've decided to go with in season two. I guess they might be getting feedback from the fans from season one. Like his um, armor. Yeah, I mean, his armor, really his cool. uh, series eyebrows. I mean, I find the little things. She looks more Siri like now, like yeah. compared to the game. Yeah. Yennefer's really stripped back look. I mean, she might get that kind of heavy makeup, black eyes i'd look again maybe when she's got her magic back but for now they've really stripped her back to like pure simplicity yeah if i did look better this episode with her longer black hair she looked more like a woman as opposed to a young girl like she did before did she not have long black hair before i don't know they that i feel like they brought it out more when i'm thinking about the game Yennefer, she looked a bit more like that yeah this episode yeah i'm definitely still like a little bit confused about because that tree monster seemed to be such a big imp important point you know between Eskel's whole death and the whole episode mm. and they're hunting that down so i made sense for that to be some mystery behind that maybe to learn more about Eskel's death and then this random centipede just comes kills it and then they you know it seemed like so maybe they'll get answers but i felt like they're going to find some sort of answers and closure to Eskel's mutation of some sort through the tree but then they just sort of like it ended abruptly and i was like confused well, I feel like they will revisit it because it's too big of a plot point to kind of just throw it away like that. I mean, no, that's, that's Siri exactly was literally it. having these visions of being pulled toward it. I mean, and they both saw it happen, so I'm sure they're going to flush that out a bit more. Yeah, and they're probably also giving us a bit more of a scope now on how Siri's power works. Multi-layered, you know, it's not just these massive explosions. It's also mm. she can pull be pulled by certain magical properties and sense things and almost predict things because she had a vision of that. So she yeah. had a vision of her being put in the forest. So, I don't know. Interesting. I like how they showed the actual shot of her vision as well, like, in, in like, real time. So, I mean, they could have done that lots of different ways, like, her being pulled from, like, a different angle. And they did that, but they did, like, hone in on her vision angle. So, that was cool. Yeah. Well, now we'll have to find out as well what happens with Yennefer and the Brotherhood because yeah. once again she's she's in deep shit as once she again she's outcasted herself um yeah. and i'm interested to see how she's gonna get her power back i wonder what what happens from here it's interesting i think she's gonna follow up that lead is it like that crone like kind of yeah yeah we don't know yeah yeah if we're supposed to know feel free to let us know if they're crows if it's something that gets revealed later on then just leave it and we'll find out I feel like we might find out, to be fair, once we actually, like, get in contact with them. Yeah. We, Yennefer. <laughs> um, it was cool to see Siri kind of slowly gain the respect of the witches and as well as Geralt with training. They kind of both came to a realisation, like, Siri coming to the realisation that, you know, yeah, shit, like, one misstep, like, I'm dead. But Geralt also, like, no, she needs this now. Bit. Yeah, give her a little bit of, a little bit more rope. 
yeah, the relationship's definitely developing. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. We're very much looking forward to episode four, so stay tuned for that. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to stay up to date as we go through the rest of season two. Um, and let us know down in the comments below what your favorite part was in this episode. We'll catch you guys on episode four. Until then, take care of yourselves. See you guys soon.